Can everyone see the screen? Nick, you're on mute, mate. <laughs> I'm rattling on there. Another. Starting it. Come on. Unbelievable. Yes, I can see the screen. And yeah. the crisis. Cool. Sorry. So anyway, Claire said to me, "Look, can you give a twenty-minute spiel about energy?" And so I was like, I thought to myself, Jesus Christ, twenty minutes on that. Um, so what I've actually done is I've split it into two, really. So I thought to myself, talk five minutes about the energy, where we are now, where I think we are, and where I think we're going to go, and then um, then the second half, um, about ten slides, was actually talk about what I think Trish mentioned earlier about financial distress, you know, that people are in at the moment in terms of how they're going to pay their bills um, going forward with what's going on in the economy, you know, people are going to lose their jobs, et cetera, et cetera. So I thought to myself, well, everybody knows the business I do and the customer side of it, but why not show everybody the business side of it and give everybody a chance to say, yeah, I could do that. Or you may know somebody that desperately needs to make some money um, and, and, and do it as well, you know. So, you know, we're talking about uh, maybe £250 to 400 quid um, for signing one customer up, um, which pays everyone's utility bill for that month. So, and we can do this wherever you are. You don't need to go and see people or anything like that. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. There's no excuses at all. So... That's what we're going to talk about quickly. Any questions, just stick in the chat bar and um, I'll try and answer them. You know, I haven't got it open, but I'm sure uh, Jamie, my uh, personal VA, will, uh, um, will Nick, help. You've been in the game longer than me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so Jamie, I only met, um, what, a week ago, was it? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Two weeks ago, maybe even that. So uh, he's brand new to the business, but I thought bring him along because he can share his story later on about why he does it. Um, and what business it is because everybody here is on this webinar is an entrepreneur in some shape or form so they can see the bigger picture they want to change their life you want to um, get out of the nine to five rigmarole etc so this may be a way of helping you as long as you along with your property business so why do we have an energy crisis at the moment well it's not because of the war with Russia number one it was way before that um, the bottom line is we don't have any infrastructure. We've never invested anything. Um, we've shut down the oil and gas fields, um, a couple of fracking sites, coal mines, et cetera, et cetera, and we've not replaced it with anything. Um, we've got lots of wind um, windmills around the country, but they only now produce 2%, or well, just over 2% of all the energy that we use in this country. So it's minute, it's minute. So, um, so that's the problem. Um, now, whether or not it will ever end, I don't know. Um, my gut feeling is I can't see it changing. Um, the governments around the world are on this um, net zero by 2030. And it looks like, you know, this is one of the side shows that's going to happen. Um, I suppose the only thing we could ask for is that they'll be honest with us and say how shit are our lives going to be to get to net zero by 2030 and that's you know that's me just saying that out loud because i think that people don't realize that um we're gonna have to change what we eat what we wear what we drive how we work um to get to this because um at, at the moment if we all change to electric cars the grid will fail uh, we just don't have the infrastructure for that either you know we need to build another six to nine nuclear power stations in this country to um sustain that so sorry for the grim outlook but i thought i'd rather be honest with you and, and say what i think and what i've been when i've been speaking to people in the industry where we're going to be um so what can we do about it um how does this you want screen sharing so how do i change there we go so just to give you a quick update, so from today, or from yesterday, there was 4 million people or 4 million households in poverty. From today, that's now risen to 6.5 million households. Um, just massive, absolutely massive. And um, I'm not sure that people understand that, especially the powers to be. Um, but 
um, it is where we are. So we need to think about what we could have done. So what else could the Chancellor have done? So I put six or seven things there. Um, it could have cut the VAT. Uh, it could have done the windfall tax on all companies. Um, expand the warm winter discounts that uh, people get. Um, put in some winter fuel payments, uh, electricity rebate, some income support, or even take the 25%. So at the moment, every bill that comes out, you pay 25% green levy to pay for um, your net zero. Um, and at the moment, that's producing 2% of, of wind turbines uh, energy. Um, and it's even less for solar. So, um, so that's where your 25%. Um, they could also open, open the oil and gas fields again. Um, I think there is talk about this um, and possibly I think they've stopped concrete over the fracking mines, apparently. I think a stop was put on that yesterday. So things are happening, but it's very, very slow. You know, what can you do? Well, obviously, take meter readings was a big thing yesterday. Um, apart from that, the big six decided to crash their site, so you couldn't do it. But as long as you took a photo, you've got a week um, to put them in. So it's not all about on the day. So you have a week to do that. And just do the general stuff, you know, manage your lifestyle, repair the doors, talk to people. Um, if you have problems, then obviously there are lots of debt management companies out there that's free. Citizens Advice, National Debt Line, Step Change, the Debt Support Trust, Debt Device Foundation. So there's quite a lot of people out there. Um, um, but do something. Don't do nothing is be my advice. Um, always talk to your supplier as well. They can put um, your bills on hold for six months. Obviously, you still got to pay them, but um, at least, at least, it's a, it's a start. But uh, talk to someone, please. So, um, so the next bit then was to talk about a smarter way to earn. So, in your own time, no hassle to pay for your utility bill. Really, it's as simple as that. You know, that's that's, that's what we're here for. Um, is, to, is to make sure it doesn't cost us money. So um, I thought it'd just be easier to, to talk about uh, Utility Warehouse and how we can um, help you build a, uh, a legacy, build a, um, a great, great platform for you to earn some money, but also help all your friends and family who need their bills looking after or who would like uh, an extra income. Uh, so um, as it says here you can design your own life you choose what you do discover new opportunities and why you learn so this is typical of what you guys do now in property um, and this is why you want to change what you do so this opportunity is no different from 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 that um, it's about your extra income and that long-term security so you want more spare time you want to reduce your hours uh, this is something that you can take into retirement. We have lots of elderly people whose, whose, whose pensions um, weren't enough for them. So they use this to top it up. Um, personal development, again, something great that we don't really talk about as, as, as people in terms of um, our mindset and how we cope with rejection, how we cope with um, debt and other forms of, of insecurities that we have. You can leave this as a legacy, it's a willable access, but it's a recurring income. And um, that's the most best bit about it. You know, 60 months ago, I signed my mother up um, because I suggested to her, you know, it'd be good for her, save her some money. Um, for 60 months now, I've taken between three and 5% of a bill being paid it. So after seeing her once, okay, but now I have to see her more than that, obviously, because she's my mum. But, um, but, you know, if you went to, if you been out recently and saw a film or a book or great restaurant where you had a meal and you recommend it to your, your friends or your family, how much did you get paid for? Um, you don't get paid anything, do you? So, um, so yeah, this is about how you um, recommend people to, um, to join and then you get paid for it. Um, the recurring income is an interesting one because um, I'm on Twitter quite a lot and um, Elon Musk is on there quite a lot and I've tweeted him a number of times now because he comes on and Gives it the big, big I am, which he is. <laughs> but I was asking, you know, why haven't you ever, um, you've flown to the moon and all that sort of stuff, but you can't 
design a self-charging battery for an electric car? Um, to date, he hasn't answered me. So I'm a bit annoyed with that, but hey-ho. Um, but obviously, it's about recurring income. Um, if they got a recharging battery, they'd only get paid for the one battery, which would stay in the car. But if they can't charge the battery, then they get a recurring income of having to change cars, etc., and change all the parts, etc. So um, it's no different from Netflix and Amazon, etc. That's what they live on, recurring income. So they want you to keep going back and back and back. So um, this is no different. Um, it just means that uh, you only have to see someone once and then that's done. Um, the traditional way then people work would be that you leave school, start work, and you get to a certain point and it plateaus, you retire, and then you lose all your income. Um, and then you have to survive on a pension. That's the traditional way. Our way is that you earn and your income grows and grows and grows, no matter how old you are. As, as the longer you're in the business, your income grows through the residual income. So it's a great powerful tool um, that means that you can start when you're 18 and you can carry on while you're 100 years old. It doesn't really matter. So there's different ways of in, in, earning your income. So you can earn, like I said, you know, sign up one customer, takes all the services and um, it's a homeowner, you can earn up to 400 pounds. So you do that once a month, that's, uh, you know, um, that, like I said, it will pay for your utility bill. Or, you know, if you can get uh, your friends and family who are desperate for, for money, etc., they can do that. You can build a team and then you earn from that team as well. And then you've got the residual income as well. So you get an ongoing share of the bills from the customers introduced by you and your team ongoing all the way through while it's still a customer. So there's many customers that we've got in our team that we've never met, never spoken to, but we are still getting paid for it. So it's a, it is a truly great, great, great way of earning some money. And all you're doing is sharing the good news. You know, there's no cold calling, there's no standing in the middle of a um, shopping centre behind a board asking people to sign up and I think it's, it's through your own inner circle, through your networking, through social media, referrals, friends and families, and just telling people like you do with property, what you do and why you do it. That's why I like it, Nick, to be honest, just going back to that, that's why I like it. Cause you know, it's a people business. It's the same as property. You talk to individuals all the time, you know, the game, especially what we're doing, you know, you can recommend it as easy as you can, um, can you know, and, um, uh, a film or anything else like you were suggesting earlier, but it's relevant. Do you know what I mean? So exactly. that it, it appeals to me in that respect. And then on top of that, there's the extra there's extra benefits as well. So as well as earning money, you can earn cars. So I've got a mini. Um, my wife and I got a mini um, that we only pay about thirty quid a month for. Um, luxury holidays. So we're going to Orlando for a couple of weeks. All pay for in August with the kids. We've won hampers at Christmas, turkeys, etc. Henley, Epsom, Budapest, Centre Park, Cyprus. Um, there's loads there for people to, if, if they ever want to, to, to do that. So, you know, if that's what floats your boat, then it's great. You know, you get you get paid and you can go on holiday for nothing. Um, I'm going for the holiday. Sorry? I'm going for the holiday, Nick. <laughs> So it's a business for everybody. It doesn't matter where you are, or who you are, um, every walks of life there is. Obviously, Jamie only joined sort of two weeks ago, maybe. What was the yeah, reason it, you it, it, came, it was about, It was about that. I mean, uh, I saw it. So I, I can't remember who introduced my Mrs. Christie to it. And I was just, they were going through the presentation, signing her up through the, as a customer. And we managed to save... Um, I think it was about 150 pound a month and everything else was going up. So after April the 1st, we'd be saving 150 pound every month. And as you know, there's no good cheap deals going around anymore. Um, so we, we were well happy with that. So I was listening to the, uh, to the call and then they obviously spoke about the presentation uh, about the opportunity. And I used to do something similar 
back you know when I was in the in the military alongside being in the armed forces um and I really enjoyed it it's, you know I, I enjoy talking to people it's you know I'm not too bad at it I can get uh, you know quite a good relationship um growing with you know people so uh I, you know, it piqued my interest right away. And as it's, you know, energy and it's uh, relevant, it's not hard to talk about. So uh, I joined clearly to earn a bit of extra cash. I liked it. It was, you know, like I say, it's easy to talk to around the energy crisis. You're not selling it to anyone. You're effectively telling them what you did and, and, and why you did it. And then if it works for them, great. And obviously that's a, as a customer, but if they want to earn a bit of extra cash, I mean, there's loads of different incentives. The cash back card you, you can you can get from, from uh, UW, you can get up to 5% cash back on any purchases. I mean, we fill up our car at Morrison's and we get 5% cash back on that every time. So over a period of a month, that takes off a massive number of your, of your, of your bill, which is ideal. So uh, as you know, we do a lot of driving, you know, viewings and so on and so forth. So Christy loves it loves it more than me actually and I love saving money so and now she's doing it alongside me so it's, it's, a, it's a great little earner um like I said I'm in the, my first two well in my first month now um got two contributors and two customers so far Simon is one of them so uh you can ask him what it's like as a customer um yeah, he stitched me up. <laughs> no, <laughs> no it's really good, actually. We, we saved some money. We saved a decent amount of money on our mobile plans. Um, we saved a little bit off our utilities. Uh, we had a cracking deal on our internet. Any else who can help us with that. But we did end up saving some money. It was good service. So, yeah, can't complain. Good man. Thank you, Simon. Uh, so, yeah, it's, I mean, there's lots of uh, uh, benefits about it. Uh, it. As a side hustle, do you know what I mean? So I've got this and another a number of things are going on with me, just earn a little bit of extra cash. And it's it's reoccurring, do you know what I mean? You don't, this will probably take over uh, some other income that I've got going on over a period of time. Obviously, property is my main focus, but this goes hand in hand with it. You know, whoever you talk to within property, they're going to be paying bills. Uh, so why not earn? You know, you can do both. You can save money and earn. So that's my experience so far. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to carrying on. It's it's an opportunity. What, what works for me might not work for somebody else. You know, everyone's been, you know, they've got, they might have had a bad experience in the past with, with something similar to this. But, you know, you shouldn't judge every, you know, opportunity as you did the last, potentially, on, on, on the result. Uh, and I haven't, hence why I'm doing it. But you can be anybody and do it. It's not hard. It really isn't. I mean, Nick's been doing it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, the, I'm not the cleverest bloke, but uh, yeah, because that's why I've got a wife who does it. So uh, yeah, we do it together as well. But um, yeah, thanks, Jamie. But yeah, uh, and, and you're not on your own either. You know, you get mentor as well. So you get a, a mentor that does your first sort of 10 appointments with you. So you're not on your own. You get your own website, your own um, email address, et cetera, et cetera. So there's loads of stuff that, uh, that you do get. And free training as well so it's uh yeah it's an interesting um so oh there we go look so you get your training and personal coach you get and where you learn you work from home you don't have to buy any stocks you don't have to go and buy the gas or electric or the or the broadband at all they do it all for you um you've got loads of tools and apps that you can use as well so and the, the system works you know don't break the system just follow the system and it works um, so this one's just a bit out of date because the registration fee is just £10 now. So if you want, want a business, it's £10. Um, so you're not even at the price of a meal to have your own business. Um, and then, like I said, you get your, everything else included on that. Um, we're also the cheapest on the market at the moment for um, gas and electric. We're 5% below the, the cap price. We're the only, only company doing that. Um, and one of, one of the only few companies also offering um, a fixed rate as well um but that will depend on what happens in october um when um the next price cap is announced well it's announced in in september end of august so um so yeah so that's that there's a money bank guarantee as well so if you're not happy uh, within six months then you just get your 10 pound back simple as that so as it says now, the time is now. You know, if you want to make a difference and help people, 
to pay off their utility bills. This is a way to do it. And um, it's, it's not massively hard. It's not, um, yeah, it's just, it's just there, you know I mean? It gives people some financial security, it might help some free time, it might pay people's loans off. Um, you can take it into retirement and you can will it as well. So there's so many good things about it. Um, get free holidays, Nick, as well. Free holidays, I mean, yeah. I mean, you get free holidays. There's, there's the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get free. And, but there's opportunities, like four opportunities a year to go on holiday if you hit targets. And the targets aren't ex exactly, you know, they're, they're not Mount Everest targets. You know, it's easily achievable. I mean, you just have to, it's just doing little things consistently day in, day out that, that achieve it. And it's not hard. It really isn't because it's easy to do. It's easy not to do. And that's why people don't bother. But if you just do little things every day, uh, it's, it works around your lifestyle. That's another reason why I did it. Because as busy people as we all are, you only need 10, 15 minutes in the day, message a couple of people or talk to people. I mean, if you're, if you're out and about all the time, you know, you just talk to anybody. Well, generally not anybody you don't want to be yeah not everybody sound like a mentalist yeah but i just think it's a good opportunity to help people you know and that's what this group's yeah. all about and i'll share it today because we haven't you know been doing it here but i've been doing it uh, five odd years now so um never really talked about it before so i thought it'd be an opportunity to talk about it tonight and if anybody's interested brilliant you know um um and we go from there really And that's it, because I can't get the last screen up, which has got, oh, there we go. And then there's our contact details. So if anybody's interested, just, just ping us a message for Jamie, who's up north, um, and uh, we can help you and talk you through it. Um, and then we've got uh, different plans to put in place, et cetera, to make sure that you're successful and help and lots and lots of help. So there it is, really. I thought it was just, uh, like I say, some of interest for people that maybe want to know how can they help people that just need to be helped. And uh, I thought this is one of the ways. So thank you for supported. listening. It's fully supported as well. You know, like like since I've started it, I've been supported greatly on any any questions I have, you you, you they get answered uh, straight away. I mean, Nick's a count and a knowledge with it as well. So if I'm ever stuck, I give him a shout and he can generally answer any questions that I have. So if ever you're on a call, if you want to introduce it to somebody, they're willing to go on a call with you. Uh, just so you don't sound like a, a you know, a spanner, uh, just starting out and you say something wrong. Um, not that you really can, it's energy and gas, but the questions you have uh, pop up generally can stump you if you haven't been doing it that long. So yeah. There's a, it's, referral, um, there's a referral as well. So um, if you're a customer, you get uh, 50 quid off your bill for every referral that signs up. So um, that's another way of reducing your bills. Um, or I often say, do you want to make 250 pounds from that customer rather than 50 pounds? So it's it's one of those. So uh, I see Sarah's got her hand raised. So uh, if you want to ask a question, Sarah. It's not so much a question. It's just, I I was a member of Utility Warehouse. Okay. And <laughs> it's nothing against, obviously, you guys as, as people that sell it, but... I have had the worst experience with them. Like, right. I can't even tell you how much distress I've had with them, literally. Well, as a customer, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. It's been horrible. It's been absolutely horrible. This is this is what I, this is exactly what I was saying before. I mean, everyone's going to have a different experience if they've had been a customer before or if they've been a distributor before. It depends. I suppose not everything's the squeaky clean, is it? You're never going to get 100% great feedback or service. It's the same as you know, friends. You're not going to get 100% people that like you. So it's it's. Um, it's yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Sarah. So yeah, but uh, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, um, but I, I think you know the 70 awards we've won over the last sort of five or six years show that we're doing some things right. You know, what I mean, so you know, which have recommended. I us. get, I get that. It's just, you it's just. I mean? um, the people that I've spoken to that I that have utility warehouse, once it's sold to that person, and and then the the person that sells it to them uh, uh, is like 